Hey lads, my name is Kaichiro and welcome to Game Theory, Nurse Joy is a Pokemon. Now I immediately gonna say that's not true, it's clearly a human because I remember seeing in the anime there was a baby version, the small version of this uh, Nurse Joy. Clearly that's not true, how can a human be a Pokemon? Clearly that's not true. That's my point of view, let's see how this guy MatPat tries to prove us that uh, we, we thought we were wrong, apparently it is a Pokemon, I don't know, we'll see. By Game Theorist, all things down below, lads. And before we start, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. This is going to be a bit of a long episode, so please make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this channel. And yeah, and let's start. This is a Pokemon. No. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, that's a picture of Nurse Joy. Yes, One exactly. Of the famous, most beloved characters to come out of Rock fell in love. The I mean, Rock. Brock. Brock, Brock fell in love with her, I think, yeah. Of the series, so she's been kicking around for a long time. A very long sure, time. She looks like a human. Yes. Talks like a human. Exactly. Behaves like a human. But by the end of this video, you're going to be convinced that Nurse Joy is, in fact, a fully catchable no. Pokemon. You're wrong. Well, catchable know. Pokemon? Then why did never... But why, then no, why did Team Rocket then steal her? Game Think about it. The show that wants you to tap that subscribe button like you're trying to skip through some NPC. Then why didn't Team Rocket didn't steal her? Think about it. Mentioning that today is actually a double feature for all you Pokemon. Oh really? Right double now, feature. Food theory. I'm actually analyzing what Pokemon humans in the game universe are most likely to eat. Are they really? Kabutops, kebabs, Snorlax, sausage, Snorlax sausage, Krabby Patties. Uh, not those. No. Those Krabbies. <laughs> over here, friends, so when we will react, let's hit a hundred likes on this episode and then maybe we'll check it tomorrow. Are, um, surprising, to say the least. All we'll see if that's a reason to it on it like before tomorrow. How old Ash really is, or whether Ditto is related to Mewtwo, Nurse Joy we don't know. anime's secret hiding in plain sight for oh, the really? two and a half decades. As that's a crazy. Recap, for those of you who are unaware, Nurse Joy is the character responsible for running all the Poke Center. Yeah, it's a human. Universe. And over in the game world, she appears in Clefairy, that's a Clefairy Pokemon, obviously. Eevee, which is Clefairy. Justifying this one being a game theory. If you speak to any Pokemon fan and ask them to describe Nurse Joy, exactly. No doubt that you'll get an immediate and detailed. And all steals all this time with no, no chance. Yeah, exactly. Rock, Nurse Joy is just one of those iconic characters with an iconic look. Pink yeah, Nurse's exactly. Outfit, blue eyes and striking pink hair that curls in the front and forms two large hoops in the back. Like I said, simply iconic. There isn't a yes. single other character that looks anything like Nurse yep, Joy. Yeah, it's unique. For, well, you know, all the other Nurse, Nurse Joy. Joys. Yeah. Nurse Joy isn't just one character, but in fact hundreds, thousands. Wow, well, yeah. All identical and all running various Pokemon centers crazy the right world in the meta sense this is obviously meant to be a joke about how games often put an identical healer character in all the towns that you visit but well the yeah universe lore explanation is that they're all related to each other family so of course as episode two well team rocket is busy destroying the Pokemon Center nurse joy is transferring all the Pokemon there over to pewter city we see another nurse joy on the other end of the video call well yeah that all the Pokemon arrived safely to which Viridian's nurse joy replies Thanks, sis. so there's well sisters. yeah sisters yeah and Sisters all of them, yes. Entirely. No. Visiting the Why? Islands, Ash and company encounter Weird. Nurse Joy, who claims to be the second cousin of the sister-in-law of the Joy in Saffron City. And that's of course. Kind of an explanation, I guess. Just because you're Sister related doesn't mean that you're gonna look well, much alike, still. especially when you're dealing with different parents in different parts. Of the who world, knows, you know? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know what makes a whole lot more? What? Sense? That they're all Pokemon. In the Pokemon Mistake. World, identical children is <laughs> the norm, not for humans, but for Pokemon. Pokemon. Look at this army. Hmm. They got a point there. He got a point there. Ash's Charmander versus Richie's Charmander. It's they the same. Practically interchangeable. Every Chansey in every Poke Center in pretty much every episode. True. I mean, maybe. And if Nurse Joy was also a Pokemon, her legion of identical is still the same. I had noticed actually. Sense. Yeah. But you know that I wouldn't be making this episode if that was all the evidence I have. No, that there's more. Let's check. Start the thesis. By the end of the today's thesis. Episode, you're gonna the be thesis. Nurse Joy should be getting an entry of her own into the national deck. New discovery so mistake. Not only are all Nurse Joys practically identical, they're also all female. This would be a weird, highly improbable event for humans. True. Pokemon, it's actually the expected Oh, outcome. really? How? In episode How? 28 of the Diamond and Pearl series, we meet Paige and Marnie, two daughters of a Nurse Joy. Oh, shoot. Which, uh, huh, actually reveals Joy to be their last name rather than the first name. Never really thought about that one. Anyway, Nurse something something Joy. Joy. Notice anything unusual about these two? They're identical to their mother. We even see and? their father, Karsten, in this episode, and... Uh, oh, really? Look like anyone took a dip 
dip in that gene pool. Well, yeah, clearly. Child, that child shares half their genetic makeup with the mother and half with the father, resulting in a look that's roughly a combination of the two. With mm, nurse yeah, kind of. kids, though, that's clearly not the case. And guess where else we see this happen? What? In Pokemon species. Back in Gen 2 of the games, we were introduced to Pokemon breeding. Breeding? If you breed two Pokemon together, the really? will always be the same species as their mother. Would you look at that? Babies will look just like a smaller version. What a coincidence, huh? I mean, look at that little guy. Oh, how cute is he? Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, you <laughs> That's nice. By Pichu. Yes, you did. Sorry, uh, where, where was I? I don't know what you're doing, dude. <laughs> it was, in fact, a Pokemon. We would expect all of our children... 911. Is it really that Pokemon name? ...versions of Nurse Joy, which, go figure, is exactly what we see. Which is very weird as well. Instead of it being a statistical improbability, it actually would be the expected result. And, like of I course. alluded to earlier... It it's just females everywhere. Kids being female. The yep. Of breeding. Pokemon breeding. Also brought with it the introduction of biological sex. Because uh, Nidoran male and female from Gen 1... Then who, if it's a Pokemon, does that mean the guy is doing it with a Pokemon? Male and female oh, dude. A few species so the guy, the normal human, is having the freaking thing, freaking with a female of Pokemon. Isn't that illegal in Pokemon Universe? Nurse Joy's ever Think about it. Medical assistant. Well, yeah. So with Nurse Joy's all being female, she's either the luckiest genetic coin flipper ever, or the much more likely scenario, she's actually a species of Pokemon that just doesn't have a male counterpart. In oh yeah. Life, the way Nurse Joy's look and the way they reproduce all align closer to Pokemon. It's very do. weird. But obviously there are some exceptions, right? Brock, the anime's biggest Nurse Joy expert, has the ability yeah. to notice slight differences between them. Of and course. Yeah, there are also slight variations within Pokemon species, like between Ash's Pikachu and Richie's Pikachu. This oh, just a little hair, like a flip of a hair. Between different Nurse Joys. But then, what about this? Nurse Joys that are different in more than just their eyelash length, like we see in black and white and sun. Well, who gives a F, dude? They're shiny and regional variants of the Nurse Joys. Because Pokemon. they're different. In Gen 7, the Hawaii-based Sun and Moon games introduced a new Pokemon mechanic. Regional variants, where Pokemon that have lived in certain environments for a long period of time have evolved to adapt to their new surroundings. Okay. The red fox Vulpix is now found up in a snowy mountain, so he becomes a snow fox. Executor grows into a tall palm tree like an island shoreline. Ha <laughs> really? Their inland counterparts who are stumpy because they don't get enough sun. And I propose to you that some of these different looking nurse joys oh, of course. actually function in the same way. Oh, really? In the orange islands, <laughs> dude. encounter a nurse joy that looks identical to I the don't know, man. nurse joys that we've come to know, except there's one major difference. Her skin is noticeably more tan. Because it's tan, because the sun, natural tan the sun, Sun, you mentioned it, Executor. Joys live in yet another tropical environment, but they're as pasty and pale as I am. So if one island's Nurse Joy is tan and another island's Nurse Joy isn't, then what's the difference? Well, maybe she's just a shiny Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon no, the, you're dumb. Look identical to Come on, species, Matt. But with one key difference, their color palette. They're also the only difference. Rare. Yes, why, shiny and very shiny form of Nurse Joy that we've ever seen in the entire series. So by her being a Pokemon, 10 version of the kids are explained the of course. variants are explained what i haven't explained is you know pretty much everything else like the fact that she's a human who talks she looks and speaks like a normal human yeah. using regular words but mouth also talks going around the from the team rocket space. and admittedly it'd be weird if all of a sudden she just started repeating nurse joy nurse joy to all the trainers coming in for a quick heat. well yeah that's the, the thing actually gives us our counter example in the form of mouth of course meow. exactly i was about to say Pokemon have the power to evolve differently when they put and their speak minds to it. For those of you who aren't aware, Meowth in the anime physically manipulated he learned his it, body yeah. to walk on two legs. He even taught himself how to speak English, and with a Brooklyn accent, no less, all to try and make himself more. Well, who doesn't matter? Why does the accent, accent really matter? Why? Because she explicitly told him that she preferred humans. You'll never be human, so just. So this tells us that Pokemon have the ability to speak clear and articulate English. If that's want, right, but it certainly doesn't explain the other elephant in the room: the fact that she looks human. No amount of willpower. It's a human. To something that doesn't look like a cat. Holy and shoot, that dude! Seems to be the deal breaker for today's theory. It's a human. It's a human. It's a human. It's a human. It's not a Pokemon, you dumbass. She can't be a Pokemon because she doesn't look like a Pokemon. Exactly. Busted, or so you might think. The actual explanation for that lies in the past, both for 
Pokemon and for this channel. Now, first, oh, really? I How? call out the fact that humanoid Pokemon do exist. Jinx, Mr. Mime, the Machop family, all of them are like an evolutionary stone. Not close, but for a nine to five Gardevoir, I guess, is the closest one. Don't even have Gardevoir. To that far. All we have to do is turn to the lore. Seven years ago, I covered a theory about how Pokemon and people used to be one and the same. We've come a long way since then and gained a lot of new subscribers, so rather than forcing you to go back and watch the cringe that is that video, seriously, please do not go and watch that one i'll instead just recap what you need to wow do you but just literally added the subtitle there you say no but people will go no matter what you're, you're pushing them to do it because you said no for example frost lass's entry from pokemon sun reads the soul of a woman lost on a snowy mountain possessed an icicle becoming this pokemon oh really the, tip of the human shaped iceberg where frost lass as well as other pokemon like your mask and phantom are your mask your mask entry is something else entirely quote from pokemon fire red's pokedex it has Happened one morning, a boy with extra sensory powers awoke in bed, transformed into Kadabra. Here That's we have the weird proof of people turning into Pokemon. But is this true? Is the flip of that. We need Pokemon turning into people, and for that, the Diamond and Pearl games have us covered. In really? Lava City, there's a library, and in that library are a number of books that speak to Pokemon myths and folklore. Number three carries the particularly interesting quote: "There what? once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. There once were humans." Humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was a time when there existed no difference to distinguish the two. They ate together at the same table, you say? Sure. Sounds like one of those ye olde euphemisms to me. But the fun doesn't stop there. If you look online and find the original Japanese for these, they can literally be translated to quote, there once were Pokemon that married people. There once were people that married Pokemon. What? A thing because long ago, people and Pokemon were the same. Hmm. That's mind breaking. Humans looking and acting the same, marrying one another, like maybe perhaps a nurse Pokemon Joy marrying the husband human Karsten. But the final piece of evidence here is the, the heck? Oak Tale 2. Quote, here lived a Pokemon Is in that the forest. really in the true? Forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. I mean this, this right here. This outright shows us that not only were Pokemon and humans one and the same, but mouth is weird like this did to become people. Seven years ago we theorized that this was because of the How did the thing that differentiates us from animals. Certain Pokemon would choose to give up their special powers for the ability to grow mentally, to learn, to communicate. Well, and honestly, am. I think that this is exactly what happened to the species of Pokemon we now know as Nurse Joy. And better yet, maybe one stupid idiot decided to sleep with a Pokemon and turn out this Nurse Joy. <laughs> Chansey is more iconic than Chansey, and it makes a lot of sense for Chansey to be the one there to support Nurse Joy. Quote from Platinum's Pokedex entry: A kindly Pokemon that lays highly nutritious eggs and shares them with injured Pokemon or people. Its evolved form, Blissey, actually is very similar. It has a very compassionate nature. If it sees a sick Pokemon, it will nurse the sufferer back to health. This line nice. of Pokemon is well documented as being caregivers and healers. They would do anything to help a Pokemon or a person. Chansey also really? has some interesting design features that are worth pointing out. A simple line smile, tall and thin blue eyes, that iconic pink hair, which huh, no, the iconic design of that favorite human nurse of all. In a way, also, yeah. It evolves into Blissey, that hair becomes curly, just like that certain nurse we all know. Wait, so what? Why would Chansey ever need to evolve into a human form? Well, interesting. Way, these folk tales talk of a world from long Close, long, though. People and Pokemon were the same, but that's clearly no longer the case. Back in those days when Pokemon were all wild and they lived in harmony with people, Chansey could easily help everyone that she came across. But now that Pokemon are just seen well, as yeah. animals, lesser than humans, well, it makes it very hard for Chansey to help both humans and Pokemon. True. I mean, how would you feel if you walked to your local doctor and found a dog sitting there waiting to give you a shot? Making you oh, that'll be bad. Pokemon and people don't just live segregated. People now capture, train, and battle Pokemon for sport. Where before well, yeah. Chansey may have come across a sick Pokemon that had eaten the wrong kind of berry or something, now they're are broken and injured Pokemon fainting left, right, and center. Well, Whether that's true. Control of humans, Chansey can't get anywhere close to helping them. That's a it. Human though would have the chance, so Chansey did the only thing it could. Over time, it evolved to act like a human, to speak like a human, just like Meowth did. But are you sure? Just, just like that by itself. Like a human. And with the understanding and respect from humans, she was able to build a global hospital empire that would allow Chansey to continue doing the thing that she loved most. Yeah, dude. Yeah, right. And their yeah. 
yeah, right, dude. Literally bringing some joy to everyone in the world. So, there you have it, friends. The secret final evolution of... Because Chancey decided to have off the human. I can do it. Why not? You know, I'm just gonna do it. Kind of makes you wonder about Officer Jenny now, doesn't it? Another day, friends. I did just stop. That's just a theory. One of two... Professor Oak is a Pokemon. Do it, dude. I dare you. For years, people have been asking me about whether people eat Pokemon and Pretty sure, tastiest. yeah. But over on Food Theory today, I've actually gone one better to tell you the breakdown of the entire food economy. 100 likes will react to this. Will your Appleton be an appetizer? Your Doe Duo be dinner? If you want to see which Pokemon would literally be on the chopping block, click the link that you see on screen right now. If you liked this video, you are going to... Oh, we will react to this if you wish 100 likes. Time. And as always, remember, it's all just a It's a theory, time. exactly. It's just a theory, dude. Thanks for watching. Maybe the guy had a had an idea. Maybe he was close, right? But he still, like he said, at the end of the day, he will convince us. But he, if 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 he's gonna like possibly like back his back up his theory and back up his assumptions on just the fact that Clefairy or whatever the heck that Pokemon is. Uh, medical Pokemon, the pink one. Just because it cannot help Pokemons, it just decided to turn into human. Just because I want to, I'm gonna turn into human. Well, if Mouth wanted so desperately to turn into human, Mouth forced himself to walk on two feet. Mouth forced himself to speak English. M Even his girlfriend that he was trying, that he was doing this all this for, he said, she said, "You'll never be a human." And yet, he tried to push so much himself, and didn't work still, it just didn't work. He did not become a human. Yes, he can walk on two, two feet. Yes, he can speak English, or just in any language. But that still is not enough to become a human. Now, how did Clefairy level turn into human? Maybe she can learn English, maybe she can walk like a human. But that's maximum limit of Pokemon that can come close to being a human. Nurse Joy is a human in my opinion. Maybe, yes, he had a good point about the hair evolution, but, I mean, it's not a really, like, strong, he has a very, very, very good points there, like, he has a very good points in proving the theory, right? Very, very good theory, I gotta agree, but at the very end, he just, like, yoinked it, you know, like, just decided to blame all of his theory, and with one proof, that uh, saying, like, just because Clefairy cannot help Pokemons and, and humans anymore because they're battling now, right? She decided that Cliff Pokemon just randomly decided to turn into human over time. I mean, how? Number one. And if there's a trainers already that can catch them, the trainers will catch Clefairy. And seeing how much trainers they exist in this universe, I'm pretty sure there is not a single Clefairy that spent like a hundred years trying his best to evolve into one. And number two, what I have to prove is, if Norse Nurse Joy was a Pokemon, why did Team Rocket never stole her? Never tried to do anything with her? Nor Nurse Joy was... Team Rocket doesn't care about Nurse Joy. If she was a Pokemon, they would care because they need to steal Pokemons to give to their master. The b boss, you know, the chief. Oh, we didn't see that. We didn't, we didn't see that. So, hey... Anyways, lads, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, share it if you can. The friends about the channel, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Another video. Be cool. That's yeah, awesome. Thanks for watching. I think I know the Pokemon that chose to evolve into her. Let's paint a picture, shall we? Throughout the anime, Nurse Joy has had a couple of Pokemon companions, but none is more iconic than Chansey. And it makes a lot of sense for Chansey to be the one there to support Nurse Joy. Quote from Platinum's Pokedex entry, A kindly Pokemon that lays highly nutritious eggs and shares them with injured Pokemon or people. Its evolved form, Blissey, actually is very 